Another major category for them is money laundering. Okay. A lot of money laundering cases. Check cashing. I really don't understand how a business operator thinks that he can take the checks made out to his corporation and take them to a check cashing service and get them cashed and hide the money from IRS and the state if it's a sales tax issue. But it's happened. It continues to happen. And IRS continues to audit the check cashing services that's part of their hit list. And they get a list of all the companies that are doing business with them. So if you got, go back to my ABC roofing company, and he's cashing umpteen checks at the check cashing service every month, and they audit the check cashing service, what do you think IRS thinks about that? Real easy. They generate a printout, send it out to another agent, and they come out and audit the roofing company. And there's the check cat checks that were cashed. Guess what? Those weren't reported. Guess what happens next? Criminal Investigation Division. How hard are those cases to make? But people continue to do that because banks won't cash the check that's made out to a corporation. They're not supposed to do that. So that's a way around it. Okay. So it's, it's, it's a money laundering situation because they're not only charge you with tax evasion, they're going to charge you with money laundering. You're using another company to help you avoid reporting your tax and cashing checks for you. You're going to end up in a money laundering case. Okay? Eric talked about CTRs, cash transaction reports at the bank. Okay. He talked about questionable bank transactions, and that can be uh, any real questionable transaction, but normally they look at $5,000. Now, one of the interesting things about that is that the bank is prohibited from telling the customer they're sending in a questionable transaction report. So if they're sending it in, they can't even tell their customer they're doing it. 